Well, in our last episode, if you uh, caught it, you saw us do a little flashback to Kathy Valentine of uh, the Go-Go's. We interviewed her last year, and they've just been inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. As we begin our seventh year, we're looking back at a few more musical memories uh, over the last six years. Yeah, and let's go really old school. Nick Gilder, I grew up listening to his music uh, with Sweeney Todd, as well as his big hit, Hot Ooh. Child in the City. You could go anywhere in the world in 1978. Yeah, he was so fun to talk to. <laughs> he really was. Uh, one of my faves, because I grew up in Ontario, and they were based in Burlington, where they grew up, was uh, the Spoons and Gord Depp. We had uh, him on the show last year. I I've interviewed a lot of famous people, as you, as you have, but when you interview people from your youth, uh, and this was definitely one of them, and we're looking at uh, some clips there. It was great to talk to Gord, and good to know that he, like Nick Gilder, will be back on the road performing. Fingers crossed in 2022. Yeah, and we had Honeymoon Sweet, uh, Dermot Derry Grehan on our show as well. That was super fun too. Uh, New Girl Now, of course, we're now we're humming all these songs I know, again. I know. <laughs> I, you know, I love, it. I, I, I love their other song more, Wave Babies, which oh, is yeah, one of my yeah. favorite and video shot in Niagara on the Lake region of Ontario. Uh, you know what's great too, Lita, is we really were diverse with our music uh, and who the people we had on, like we had uh, Carol Wellsman mm -hmm. on. Uh, one of my faves that uh, I've known her for 20 years. She's in LA, her new album out in Stacey Kent. What can we oh. say? That's one of the highlights of 2021 uh, was definitely having this one. Definitely. On. That was a dream come true. I have so many of her CDs at home. Yeah. And lastly, what you're looking at is local singer songwriter Victoria Anthony. She was on our show, wow, Lita Time Flies, two summers ago. She has done very well, along with her in that interview, was a familiar face and a regular on this show, actor, writer, director, Natalie Bolt, who looked after that video with Victoria. And wow, what a great segue, because <laughs> here's Nat Bolt now back on Hi. our show. First time in since the summer of 2019 when we did that interview with you and Victoria. Welcome back. Thank you and congrats on your seven year anniversary issue. Thank you very Aww. much. Cheers. Thanks. This is great. Well, our audience certainly will recognize this lady uh, from her popular TV series playing Penelope Blossom, the perfect villain. Perfect villain. <laughs> but you've transitioned now from being the perfect actor villain now to directing. That's and right. uh, when we last sat with you, you were going through um, the uh, Warner Brothers, Warner Brothers. Director, yeah. Warner Brothers. yeah, yeah. So that was that was then, and then you know I've always been an, a, a director. I've made my own short films. I directed music videos, and uh, and I always expressed to the showrunner of of um, and producers of Riverdale that I wanted to direct it. So you know that's quite a process, and uh, and it's a thing to take on. I mean, anybody who watches Riverdale knows every Riverdale episode is a marathon. <laughs> Everything happens every week, yeah. and so you know it's a. Uh, I, I was really lucky to get one of the biggest episodes of the season, of season five, called Darts of Death, chapter 93. And it happened to be the episode that had all the stunts, all the drama, all the wrap-ups of the complex emotional storylines. Um, you know, no spoilers if you haven't seen it, but um, a, a lot happens and I got to really do, you know, a lot of action and stunt work, which was fantastic. And you must have done very well, because I'm just looking down, it was hailed by as the best of the season by many fans. Yeah. Yay! And, and, and one of the things I've always found fascinating for actors becoming directors who do both, talk a bit about the dynamic going from uh, one of the stars of a show to, okay, now I'm going to be directing. Um, yeah. Obviously you're respected, uh, but, but talk about the transition from, I'm on camera, now I'm standing behind with the team going yeah, this yeah, and this, especially yeah. when it's a, an action-driven episode like you just described. Yeah, it, it's, I mean, it's it's definitely a, a transition that is not for the light-hearted, but for the faint-hearted. <laughs> for the light-hearted, yes, for the faint-hearted, no. Um, <laughs> So, I mean, I think, you know, we've had other actors, well, mainly uh, Machen Amick and um, Robin Gibbons uh, and I were the ones who were interested in directing. And so the, the process of getting everybody's heads around that started about a year before I came on. And so the actors on Riverdale are very generous and, um, you know, they they understand and are probably interested themselves, especially some of the younger parts, in, doing, in making this transition at some point as well. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you pay it forward. Um, but as, at the same time, I was really, really well trained. I come from a background of directing and of, of coaching actors as well, um, casting, etc. So I'm quite comfortable in that space. Also, as an actor, you understand the vocabulary that other actors need to hear. You it's know, important. It, it really yeah. is. Yeah. And um, you know, I think one of the most frustrating things for an actor is when you have a director who comes from a more technical background and doesn't want to give notes or is a little bit intimidated by the actors, and so you don't really get much to play with. And so my feeling is actors who become directors are great actors, directors, and have the vocabulary and really understand what they might need to give the performance that you all want. 
you know, so, so, so it's a beautiful transition, um, really exciting, but also, of course, you have an amazing crew. And you've been very busy because not only directing, you have, you've just released a short film, we need to talk about that, as yeah. well as some of the other movies you've been involved in. Uh, busy, always busy. Yeah, I mean, you know, the thing is, I've always wanted to have more control over my creative process than just arriving and acting out lines. And so um, that's when I first started writing films. And so the, <laughs> my latest one that I've just released is a ridiculous spoof. It's a kind of like a Tarantino spoof, it's a little take on Reservoir Dogs. Um, <laughs> without releasing too much, some really mean girls arrive and uh, and it turns into an absolute raucous, um, uh, chaotic <laughs> comedy. Um, so it's called Attack, A-T-A-C-K. A -T -A -C -K. So and where can people see this? Uh, well, it's gone into the film festival circuit oh, now um, and uh, it will do the rounds and then it will be released. But um, they can watch on my um, on my Instagram, at Matt Bolt. And, um, you know, there's updates and brilliant behind the scenes um, Photographs and uh, we have our, our cast that we have in it. Are they're all you know, Vancouver locals <laughs> nice. um, who are doing brilliantly well. You know, we've got Garfield Wilson who's in Schmigadoon and and Snowpiercer. We've got the amazing Diana Bang who's just been in Why the Last Man, which is exploding. Um, uh, Aaliyah has uh, got a lead role in Legends of Tomorrow. Aaliyah O'Brien. So yeah, we've got a beautiful cast and it's wow. just going to it's just going to be putting these fantastic Canadian faces out into the world. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm super proud of that, and it is genuinely very funny. Oh, that's good. Um, excellent. Yeah, and it's, and it's amazing too. We think time flies. Uh, Reservoir Dogs almost 30 years old. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so um, hey, listen, we got to wrap, but but you were very active on social media, so people can always keep up yes. with you on that and and look for everything that's coming out. Congratulations on uh, everything you're doing. It's great to have you back on our show. Thank you for Let's having me. Let's not uh, go two more years uh, before having you back. <laughs> too on much the show. to talk about. Yeah. Hey, it's uh, Natalie Bolt. Thank you. Joining us.